Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at a learning lab called Introduction to Secure Firewall Automation in Azure. My name is Suraj and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. To start with, let's look at the goals of this lab. Before diving deeper into firewall automation, in this lab, we make sure that you're familiar with the basics of Terraform and Ansible. To perform the lab, you'll need access to an Azure account. Make sure it has permissions to create and delete resources. In the beginning, we'll look at how similar Terraform and Ansible syntax is to the FTD CLI syntax, making it easier to learn. This is how Ansible syntax looks. It is based on YAML, which is easy to read and write while being more descriptive. Coming to Terraform, it is written in HCL. HCL syntax consists of blocks. Here you can see a resource block for physical interface. Then we'll introduce you to the Terraform provider and Ansible collection for FMC, which makes automation possible. Next, we'll give you an overview of Terraform. In the overview, you'll get to create, update, and delete a virtual network in Azure using Terraform. Coming to Ansible overview, you'll be performing the same task of creating and deleting a virtual network but using Ansible this time. This way, you get to compare and choose between Terraform and Ansible for automating your firewall. In the final section, we summarize the learnings from the lab and provide you with additional resources to learn more. In this part of the video, I'll be walking you through the lab. If you are performing the lab on your own, feel free to skip this part. In case you run into any errors, you can come back to this section and verify your steps. Okay then, let's begin. First, I'll head over to Cisco DevNet. In the Learning Lab section, let me search for Secure Firewall Automation. Click on the Secure Firewall Automation Learning Track. In the Learning Track, you should see three sections. One for AWS, one for Azure, and one for GCP. We'll be performing the introduction lab in Azure. Before I start the lab, let me log into my account. Now that I've logged in, let's start with the lab. In the introduction section, you'll be learning about the basics of Terraform and Ansible. Also, we'll look at why we choose Terraform and Ansible for firewall automation. Here you can see the CLI syntax to create a physical interface. If you compare it with the Ansible code, you should notice the similarities in the values passed. You can see that it's more descriptive and easier to read than the CLI syntax. Coming to Terraform code, here you can see a physical interface resource being created, which looks very structured. Next is an introduction to the FMC Terraform provider, which is published in the Terraform registry. Click on the link to head over to the documentation of the provider. Here you can browse through all the available features and look at reusable examples. Next you'll be introduced to the FMC Ansible collection. Click on the link to head over to the Ansible Galaxy page where the collection is published. Instructions to install and use the Ansible collection is documented here. Click on the Start Learning button to continue. The lab will last for 120 minutes. The time left will be displayed on top of the screen. Make sure to complete the lab within the given time. Coming to the Terraform overview, we explain you what is Terraform and how it's useful in managing infrastructure. 
Now let's start with the demo part of the lab. In the demo, we'll be creating a virtual network in Azure using Terraform. Before diving into the code, we must first clone the repository. Click on Execute to Terminal button to clone the repository. After the clone is complete, change the directory by executing the command. Next, we have to install Azure CLI and log into our account. In the terminal, click on the link to log into your account. Also, copy the unique code generated. Proceed by entering your email address. After login, click on continue to authorize. Now we can switch back to the terminal. If you have multiple tenants, make sure to follow the instructions to choose the correct tenant. Now you are ready to execute the Terraform code. To view the cloned repository, click refresh on the SRC directory. Inside Secure Firewall Automation, choose the Azure drop down and open the intro directory. Inside Terraform directory, you should find a main.tf file. In the file, you will find multiple blocks. The first one is a Terraform block. All the required providers are mentioned here. We will be using the Azure RM provider to create resources. The block which actually creates a virtual network is a resource block. To create a virtual network, we will have to pass it a resource group name and its location. Open your Azure portal and check if you already have a resource group. If not, create one. Then copy the resource group name and its location and paste it into the resource block. Now the code is ready to be executed. Execute Terraform init. Terraform init installs all the providers needed to run the code. In our case, it will install Azure RM provider. If you want to verify your output, there are drop downs with the expected output. Now you can execute Terraform plan. What plan does is, before creating the resources, it creates a blueprint of what is expected. In the output, you should notice the virtual network to be created. Plan shows 1 to add, 0 to change and 0 to destroy. After verifying your plan, you can go ahead and execute Terraform apply. When it prompts to confirm the actions, type yes. After the apply is completed, you'll notice in the output, one resource has been added, zero changed and zero destroyed. Now let's go back to the Azure portal and verify this. Click on refresh. As you can see, the virtual network has been created. Now let's go back to the Terraform code and edit its name. Then execute Terraform plan and verify. Then execute Terraform plan, verify the output and run apply again. If you refresh the Terraform directory, you'll notice that a new file called terraform.tf state file has been generated. This is what Terraform uses to track the current state of resources. 
based on the current state it will create a plan to make the required changes as you can notice in the name of virtual network now that the apply is complete we can go back to the azure portal and verify if the name has updated It has successfully updated the name of the virtual network. Heading back to the lab, the last step will be to delete all the created resources. Run Terraform Destroy. Now head back to the Azure portal and verify if the resource is deleted. Congrats, you have completed the Terraform demo. Further in the overview, we include additional information on different aspects of Terraform. Make sure to read them to learn more. Next we'll be performing the Ansible demo. It starts with an overview of Ansible which you can read up on to get started. In the demo, we first switch to the Ansible directory. There you will find three files. First one is the hosts file. In this file, we list all the IP addresses where the Ansible code has to be executed. In our case, we will be running the code in localhost. main.yml is the file where we define all the tasks. Here the first task is to create a virtual network. Like we did in Terraform, we'll have to paste the resource group name. Before running the task, we have to install all the dependencies required for the Azure collection. First run the command to install the collection. Then install the bash script included which installs all the python dependencies. Now you can run the command to execute the main.yaml file. You can see that the task to create a virtual network has completed. Verify this by going to the Azure portal. Now, let's create a task to delete the virtual network. Uncomment the lines and replace the resource group name. Now execute the command to run the playbook again. The task of deleting a virtual network has completed. Verify this by going back to the Azure portal. Congrats on completing the Ansible demo. In the last section, we summarize what you have learned from the lab and provide you with additional resources to learn more. This concludes the lab. Thank you and have a great day.